exaggerated mercy beyond limits. God wants to save us. It is a marvel how God has revealed to me the greatness of His mercy, to the point of being willing to die on the cross again, if necessary, to save the sinner. The Lord revealed to Sister Justina, the greater the sinner, the greater the right they have to my mercy. Diary 723 And the Lord shows it in Luke 14, verse 23, Jesus said to him, Go out to the roads and country lanes and compel them to come in, so that my house will be full. The Lord granted me the following visions that confirmed with certainty God's exaggerated mercy and His burning desire to save every soul. I saw an angel holding a man with both hands, opening his head from above the ear from the front to the back, as if it had a hinge. From above, the precious blood of Christ flowed onto his brain. I understood to what extent the Lord goes in his desire to share his divine mercy. In this case, this man received it with the help of an angel. I also understand that we should pray for mercy for all human beings especially those who go against God's law, justice, and all that is right. In this way, we can play a role similar to the angels and thereby unleash God's grace and mercy. In another vision, I found myself in a church sitting in the last pews at the back. In the center, I saw Jesus walking toward the altar, dressed in white, crowned with thorns, and pulling with a rope a sinful man in his left hand. The man was wearing a dirty and somewhat torn tunic, walking hunched over and resisting the Lord. I understood how the Lord is extending His divine mercy to the utmost, struggling so that souls do not get lost, almost dragging them towards His mercy. This man wore a dirty tunic representing his sin, and he had some ribs symbolizing the corrupt state of his soul. But Jesus does not stop at our sins. He desires our salvation. Jesus is our Savior. Glory to God.